tonight. Two team. Two markets that are familiar with each other. Dallas and Baltimore meet up again. Can the pride continue momentum from last week's victory over Vegas? Can Baltimore find the end zone more than once, unlike last week versus Sioux Falls? These two markets know each other well, and history is there. Baltimore, Maryland will be ready for another meeting between their vultures and the pride. Who will come out on top? You are looking live from a sold out crowd here in Baltimore, Maryland. And Vultures Field. Good evening, everyone. I'm Colin Northrup, along with Rick Northrup on color. Good evening, everybody. We have Alan Avery and Gerald Smith and the statistician truck. You know, Rick, as we get familiar with these two teams, Tallahassee is always as dominant defensively, and they'll be looking to contain T. Roy Gaines. Absolutely. You know what else is dominant? The buffet here in the media lounge in Baltimore. Love it. Might be one of the best ones in the league. Have you tried the crab cakes? Of course. Who doesn't try crab cakes when they come to Baltimore? Pride called a toss of the coin. And it is Tings. Tings. His heads and Baltimore's won the toss and they elect to kick. So, well... That's getting sorted. Rick, these two teams are familiar with each other, as I said in the open of the broadcast. There's the legendary DR Sim game. A long time ago when the Baltimore Crabs were here. Um, I expect a highly entertaining contest. Oh, no doubt. And uh, these two, as you said, they know each other and they've studied each other. It'll be interesting to see what they've got cooked up for each other here in Baltimore. Shark Tarkington has the ball teed up and kick it. We're underway. The ball lands at about the one. Swain coming out on the return will get collared at about his own 21 yard line. So Tallahassee takes over there and we get our first look at the ending at Christian Christensen. Quarterback number 13. His halfback is number 28, A.J. Francis. The wide receivers are number 11, Ken Willis. Number 84, Ken Gossett, a.k.a. Kenny G. And Ty Norris, number 89, is at tight end. We have a first and 10 split backfield for Tallahassee. Here's the give off to Francis on an ISO play, and we'll move forward for a pickup of two. For Baltimore, defensively, they have Amon Tanks, the linebacker, number 56 inside. Joe Dazzle, number 47 outside. The corners are Kaz McFly, number 25, and Hendrick Thornberry, number 28. And the safeties are Tony Big Play Willis, number 31 at strong, and Giovanni Volt, number 41 at free safety. Christensen back to throw. His first pass attempt of the day is knocked, in, knocked away by Bolt incomplete. Collectively, those three guys. Collectively, Bolt, McFly, and Amon the Great are known as the Baltimore Triangle. <laughs> the Iron Triangle. Where it passes go to die, apparently. <laughs> First third down attempt of the evening. It's a third down and eight situation for Christensen as he drops back, has a good pocket, fired deep down the middle of the field, knocked up in the air by Giovanni Bolt, and complete pass intended for Ken Gossett, and Tallahassee will be forced to punt. Well, not the start Tallahassee wanted, and um, a couple of uh, incompletes in that first one, just trying to knock the rust off a little bit and, uh, sh and uh, work out the butterflies. Uh, unfortunate that one wasn't completed, and then on third down, they can't convert. Appreciate the compliments uh, from Tom Raman11 in the chat saying the Northrop pairing is slowly becoming one of his favorites. <laughs> well, thank you very much. As the return by McFly oh! up. McFly! <laughs> by number 12, that was Cody Apollo. 
all the way up to the Tallahassee 40, so he's able to take advantage of the short punt that was just over on Baltimore side at 50 and gaining into Tallahassee territory for this first drive. Yeah, high praise from Tom Rahman, by the way. Been a, we've been a fan of his for a long time. Joe, Mike Dazzo lines up under center with T. Roy Gaines <laughs> in the backfield. So we have a bunch formation to the top, a man tight to the bottom. As Dazzo will go deep the first play, it's oh, knocked up in the air and incomplete. <laughs> Eaton, the linebacker, laid the wood on the receiver. And see who the pass was intended for. Second down and 10. There's a look at the new tight end. Number 83, Graham Lloyd Jr. just signed this week right. off of waivers. Replacing Lee Weber. He's the tight end. The wide receivers are Bishop Warfield, number 15, and Daly Holder, number 87. As Dazzo is in the shotgun, he's back to throw. Fires down the middle on a post. It's complete to Warfield down to the 22. His first reception. First and 10 for Baltimore. And we've got our first first down of the game. Anybody notice uh, everybody's wearing white pants? Everybody's talking about my tight pants. Got my tight pants on. One receiver to the bottom, that is Warfield. Gaines is in the backfield along with his fullback. But they'll throw out of this one. Oh, they'll, nice. go to, they'll go to Gaines, and Gaines was left on an island, but no problem for the 240-pound bowling ball as he picks up six on his own. <laughs> Gaines says, screw you guys. Where are my blockers? Forget about it. I'll pick up. What do we get? Pick up six. He got a second and four. Mike Dazzo, fast approaching. Number one all-time passing marks held by many quarterbacks here in the SFL. So we get three wide receivers here on first and ten. Here is the give to Gaines. His first carry breaks the tackle the line of scrimmage, but it'll be stopped for no gain. Gaines does his best Lewis and Clark impression there as he sort of wanders all around the line of scrimmage. And then we'll set this defense for you after this play. There's a look at one of the safeties, Sure, Sapel. He came over in the offseason along with Francis from Carolina. Third and four. Dazzo will pop light his one to oh. the end zone, and it's caught by Graham Lloyd Jr. Yeah, down to the one. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> he must have been uh, butt down instead of a touchdown there. A beautiful bat. Touch pass by Lloyd, who was split out wide as a wide receiver. Alex Bond saved what could have been a sure touchdown. He's the strong safety, number 29. The corners are Matthew Sprouse, number 24, and Michael Sprouse, number 25. They're brothers. EJ DeCue is the defensive tackle, number 96. Tyquan Hill and Hunter Norwood are the defensive end. As D. Roy Gaines picks up the easy one-yard score, and Baltimore is on the bird. On the board. <laughs> Almost go. said on the bird. <laughs> on the bird. The bird is the word. R.I.P. Mark Fidrich, by the way. As uh, we're getting a little look at that touchdown, and that's just about as easy as you can get. Nice double team block by. Saw, saw a Fidrich pitch in the old Tiger Stadium back in the day when I was a kid. As we got a look at Tarkington here, he's the kicker, number 19. One of a handful of contracted kickers throughout the lead. Adam Jefferson to hold for this extra point. And it is up and it is through. So with 7.57 left, Baltimore takes advantage of a short field and punches it in with a game's touchdown. How about this for a stat line? Two rush carries for one yard and one touchdown for Gaines so far here in the early going. <laughs> Not, I guess his uh, wandering around routine netted him zero yards. Indeed. Back on the field, we have Swain returning this kickoff and he'll be wrestled down at about a 23. Tallahassee was only able to move the ball forward for two yards before forcing a punt. What is it about that uh, Tallahassee return right there? And, and I saw it on the first one as well. It's almost like there's no blockers. 
for them as uh, gets game tackled right around the between the 20 and 25 again. Christensen under center. We'll give off to Francis on a dive. There and go. there goes AJ Francis Brick and tackles and almost <laughs> busted through. Well, let's see if we get a replay on this one, Colin, because he did a swim move with his ball carrying arm to get him through the line. Let's see if we have it right there. Yeah, right there. <laughs> and then he broke the tackle of boat and he bolts and he almost broke away from Thornberry. Otherwise, he could have gone a long way. I didn't play anything more than high school ball, but I'm pretty sure if you're the ball carrier, you're not supposed to ever raise the ball up above your helmet when you're advancing Indeed. the rock. First and 10 from the 41. Christensen drops back to throw. Throws his first completion at the end. It can gossip for six yards. Gossett. Tallahassee's all-time leader in just about every significant receiving category coming in. want to welcome everybody to the game. You're watching Simulation Football on Twitch. It's Saturday Night Rivalry Night. We got an eye formation, fullback, and one wide receiver to the top of the field. That's Gossett. Here's the give off to Francis on the dive. And hey, <laughs> hey, Francis has plenty more, and he gets brought down to the 34-yard line by Giovanni Bolt. <laughs> he just... That's a second nice run. And he's running with confidence. It just looks like, yeah, he's going to make some yardage. And there he goes. And the fullback and the two tight ends. Ty Norris on one side. And he can stop Meyer and the other clean away at 39 yards on three carries. So far for Francis. As we get first and 10 at the Baltimore 34, give again to Francis. He <laughs> broke a tackle at the line of scrimmage and picked up five yards. Ooh, Ooh, didn't see that earlier. One of the most preeminent members of that Tallahassee front, EJ DeQ, will be out the rest of the game with a hyperextended elbow. Yeah, that's uh, not fun. And uh, for those of you in the know, sometimes that's called nursemaid's elbow, um, especially if it dislocates. Norris is flexed down as the third wide receiver in this formation. Second down to five. Christensen throws out right down her side to Grayson Willis. First fall down, first down. It moves the sticks, and we've got Tallahassee Collin right on the edge of the red zone. And he ran that route far enough past the sticks. I can't tell you how many times you've complained <laughs> about receivers running yeah. Too short of the sticks. <laughs> Thank you. I'm, I'm trying not to uh, be uh, old man yells at clouds on that one anymore, but uh, boy, that hurts my brain when those out routes are was run and thrown improperly. Was a pickup of six yards on the previous play. Christensen with a quick drop. Oh, Simon, yeah, down yeah, he yeah. goes. <laughs> Sack made by number 70, Albert Butler. He, he had... Uh, his uh, fell for the little flare right there, but he, he didn't let it fly right. Oh, he wasn't looking to his right. He had his safety valve. He was looking for Julius Williams. Thank you. Who's mostly known as the bodyguard for Francis. He's joined by the other tight end, Stoutmeyer, in the free man back set. As Francis gets it on the carry, and there's Joe Dazzo. Brings him down for a huge loss to set up a third and... 17 from the 30. Nice defensive play by Dazzo there. As that's a uh, full-on, we are going right. to block you running play formation. He defeats the uh, scheme and gets him in the backfield. The Dazzos, father and son combo, are one of 10 original user players still in the league. As Christensen drops the throw on this third and very long, has a clean pocket, fires it down the middle of the field, but it's short by two yards to Grayson Willis. But it, Gets him in more manageable field goal. Right, range, yeah. Though. Probably take your points here. Joe Dazzo again delivering the wood. Not not bad for a man they call the Angels Wonder, <laughs> who, you know, buys ice cream after every team victory. For, for the team, right? For the team. Yeah. Yeah, and don't forget, uh, his grandfather was a famous circus performer, Razzo Dazzo. Rode the Barnum and Bailey uh, circus train for many years, Colin. Did he now? Meanwhile, back on the field, the extra, the kick by Douglas from 32 is up and good. 
And Richard Douglas gets Tyler Assey's first points on the game as he cuts the score down to seven to three. You were mocking me there a minute ago, weren't you? You are mocking me now. Look, Buzz and Alien. And uh, welcome in those to the chat. Um, 418 to go in this first quarter. Tallahassee trails 7 to 3. Always happy to have a lively chat on our broadcast, no doubt, Colin. Here's the return oh. by Apollo, Cody Apollo. Gets him <laughs> up to about the. Oh, that was. War, yeah, that was Apollo. Gets him up to the 26. A nice setup here at this new expansion team. Second SFL team to represent the Charm City are the Vultures. The first being? The first being the Baltimore Crabs. As T-Roy Gaines gets the handoff, breaks the tackle, and moves forward for five yards, which he gained more yards on that play than he had his previous two carries. Yeah, there we go. So he's back into... Uh a little bit of a better situation. And um, we'll see. Baltimore can press their advantage here, Colin. Here's the kid to gains again. This time he gets racked up at the line of scrimmage. And so far he's sitting at five total yards. But he does have the one thing that matters in a touchdown. Francis now has 42 yards and eight totes. It'll be interesting to see how that line functions without their contracted defensive tackle. EJ to Q as Dazzo throws down oh. the middle of the field and it is dropped oh, by man. Cody Apollo, Michael Sprout, Matt, Matthew Sprouts rather, defending on the play. Well, Apollo 12, second man on the moon, or second crew on the moon, by the way. As sure Chappelle actually broke up that hit, but Sprouse was in the area. That that was going to be a sweet play if that dropped in there, Colin. And we have Gates on the field to punt for Baltimore. So the Vultures get a punt. Welcome in Eddie Gate, former Baltimore Crab, into the chat. One of the more long-tenured players in the league. As Gates' kick is away. Fielded by Swain, who gets wrapped up immediately at his own 35. Swain's got some, had some tough, tough go here on the uh, returns already. We've got 3.09 to go in the first. And Well, the SFL is brought to you by APM Music, Custom Music Library, and Custom Music House, Bit Central by Fuel, Revolutionizing SFL Media, and Harry's. The closest shaved products you'll get in Matt Doyle Designs is Christensen threw on first down, but he was hit by the man they called Fat Albert. Hey, and hey, so hey. it's incomplete. <laughs> it's Fat Albert time. And then, do you think he's going to play a song for us? And C. Pundy is asking my colleague here not to promote space conspiracy theories. <laughs> as it's a second and ten back on the field Willis in the slot they'll give off to Francis instead he busts off a tackle and picks up about seven yards Francis is averaging 8.3 yards per carry here in the early going it's a little known fact that NASA has mothballed that uh, studio and soundstage where they filmed the moon landings so that they'll be able to film the Mars landings too in a few years when the Orion crew supposedly makes it there if they can ever get the rover to respond to their commands well, that, that's well it's a third and two as christensen gives off to francis he picks it up easily and busts one Man. another tackle as he gets down to the 42. he's, he's like a uh, a boulder running downhill it just keeps going really really pleased to watch that performance so far here in the early going column. So we get a look at Francis's early numbers. He's already six carries for four 
64 yards. So we get split backs, receivers to the bottom of the field. Francis gets another carry, and he gets tackled by Dazzo after a pickup of only three. So we're getting a heavy dose of Francis here in the early going. So Christensen has had yep. six pass attempts, but has missed three of them. He has 26 yards. Yeah, Baltimore's going to start screaming, lighten up Francis. Second and seven, two tight ends. Their backs in the eye, Francis and Williams. Here's to get to Francis, leading for a hole, and there's Dazzo again with another solid tackle at 35, setting up a third and three. So far, we have Tallahassee converting one of two on third down. They picked up four first downs so far. This is from the Vulture 35. About the space where you need to punt it if they don't pick up any yards here. Francis, the single back, and they'll swing it out to him. He had to reach behind him for that one, but he still has enough space to pick up the first down to the 29. <laughs> you know, this Baltimore defense is under a bit of a siege right now. Hope for their sake they can hold on to it here. We have a first and 10. From the 29, Christensen, quick drop, throws it out, and it is complete to Gossett, who makes a nice spin move to pick up the first down. So he made his defender miss. I believe that was Kaz McFly, number 25, who dove and missed. Stood by that much. First and 10 and 18, clock running under 20 seconds to go. Might likely get one more playoff. Williams and Francis are in a standard pro set behind Christensen. And here's to get to Francis, and this time he gets racked up in the line of scrimmage for no gain. And they'll end the first quarter with 73 yards rushing. As you're watching the SFL on Twitch, it's robbery night. As Tallahassee's trailing Baltimore 7-3 after one quarter of play. Welcome back to the Simulation Football League presented by APM Music. Started the second quarter here as Tallahassee Looks to throw the first play to the end zone. There it's complete go. to Grayson Willis for the touchdown. And just like that, your pride uncorks one. They were able to penetrate the triangle as both McFly and Willis were in the neighborhood, but ultimately, Christensen throws a beauty for yeah, the was touchdown. That was a uh, nice pattern as got the secondary confused, and he had outside leverage, and... Easy pitch and catch there. Tallahassee looks to go up by three here, pending this PAT. The extra point is up and through. So with 10.57 left in the first half, as we just started, Tallahassee throws a 20-yard touchdown strike from Christian to Grayson Willis from Christian Christensen. Richard Douglas to kick off for Tallahassee. Cody Apollo to return. And, and Apollo gets dropped at the 27. <laughs> well, T. Roy Gaines has had to stroke had his struggles here in the early going. But Baltimore's only thrown three passes, but completed two of them for 21 yards. You gotta think Dazzo has to wake the offense up with Warfield and Holder on the outside along with Lloyd Graham Jr. Yeah, you are not wrong on that, Colin. And this first play will be a pass, but it will be to T. Roy, and T. Roy gets a full head of steam and picks up four yards on his own. I thought he was dead to rights there. But he turns that into a nice little four-yard game. Second and six from the, 20, from the 31. Go, 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 go. 
Two tight ends, balanced line, gains the deep back. And they swing it out again to T. Roy, but this time he's tackled for a loss of a yard. Of a couple of yards, rather. The Lord giveth and the Lord taketh away. Matthew Sprouse playing nice Phil. You know, it brings up third and eight, and it'll uh, be interesting to see what they dial up. Obviously, they don't want to stall out here in the minus territory. They're 0 for 2 on third down so far, looking to change that. Three wide receivers, Dazzo back to throw, throws an out route to Older. Older trying to muscle his way to the marker, oh, no. but he's just a yard <laughs> short. <laughs> that was the wrong, wrong guy to throw to. And he still almost picks up the first down, but that's going to stall out the drive. Looking at a 6'2", 222-pound holder there. As uh, Tallahassee Pride starts licking their chops here, they had a nice-looking drive to go up 10-7. Uh, Dazzo is 5 of 6 for 30 with that last completion. As Gates' his punt goes to Swain, and Swain gets knocked down. At the 32. As Christensen comes back out on the field, you got to like the way that Christensen sort of opened up the offense last drive. Yep. Hat, hats off to uh, he and the OC and the coaching staff as they started to get um, Baltimore a little off balance on the defensive side of the ball. Dallas, he will go off to A.J. Francis sweeping left side. Francis oh. got blocked. East of the 50, <laughs> east of the 40. Oh, he can't And Mary Gary Chase, but he won't get there. 20, 10, 5, 14, 2, 1. Touchdown, Tallahassee. Whoa. <laughs> On the first play from scrimmage, Francis takes it all the way. I was just about to say the other part of uh, Tallahassee feeling good is they've got Francis in, uh, in uh, high cotton. And here he goes. He was not Watch touched for move. that entire run. Right there. He just, they can't close on him. He just outran the angles on the defender. Holy Toledo. And now the extra point to put him up by 10. I thought he was going to end up just being uh, pushed out of bounds, but he made that cut when he got to the sideline and uh, they, they were out of gas. That cut made all the difference in the world as the extra point by Douglas is up and through. So Tallahassee takes a 17 to seven lead with 8.58 to go in the second quarter. So maybe the Tallahassee game last week, Colin, wasn't uh, a fluke as they put the hammer down against Against Las Vegas. Yeah. And well, that, uh, say la vie, Las Vegas. And yeah. here they are now looking uh, for all intents and purposes here in the second quarter. As, uh, as Cody Apollo returns this up to the 30, his best return. A.J. Francis with that last run. I don't know necessarily the length, but he's now over 100 with that run. Yeah. If it was yeah. from their own. So they, was, uh, they got out to about the 32 was my recollection. So No, they got out about the 23, their own 23 was maybe. Was it the 23? Yeah. We'll see. Um, meanwhile, Baltimore, they really have to get something going offensively. They can't, we, can't we all just agree? Let's say it's over 60 yards. As Dazzo oh, will go deep. There we go. He's got Holder. Oops. Almost oh. broke a tackle of Alex Bond as he gets drugged down at the 41. It looks like the cornerback on that side, Matthew Sprouse, vacated the area. Wow, Perhaps. Alex Bond, Bond, Alex Bond, licensed to tackle, uh, <laughs> nearly becomes the goat as he almost can't bring him down, hanging out for dear life. Just a straight go route down the field. Easy pitch and catch for Daz. Well, now that's going to have the uh, get in the heads of the Dal uh, Tallahassee secondary there, Colin. They haven't really thrown that deep. 59 yards passing now for Daz, though, as he's back to throw for number seven. Throws this underneath to Warfield for a pickup of two. And he missed a... Uh, a wide open, I didn't catch the number, on the right side. 
Two catches for 36 yards for Holder now with that last reception. It'd be interesting to see if uh, Baltimore can take advantage of now, maybe a little hesitancy on the Tallahassee side. Now Baltimore crowds the box, gets it off the game. To Gaines and Gaines only moves forward. Ah, they're going to say gain two yards, setting up a third and six. Yeah, I don't know about that. It is what it is, but I would call the pass play there, Colin. Yeah, Tallahassee certainly had the numbers to defend that play. It looked like they knew it. What was it coming? Yeah, the wideouts the wide need to tell them, too, in the huddle. Look, I was open. A bunch formation press look from Tallahassee. This could be dangerous. Dazzo swings it out to Gaines, and Gaines has enough for a first down. Focus on moving the chains. Warms my heart. Mike Dazzo's 9 of 11 for 85 yards here in the early going. That's very respectable here. Nice turn up field by Gaines, and of course he was looking for the contact rather than going out of bounds. First and 10 at the 29. There's a look at T. Roy Gaines. He's the single back offset to the right hand side. Three wide. Dazzo back to throw. Throws over the middle and it is dropped by Gaines. And that could have been disastrous. And 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 that was a nothing play. He was maybe two yards beyond the line of scrimmage and well covered. I don't know what the veteran from Veteran was seen back there, but anyway, second down and 10. So we get a shotgun look. Lloyd Graham Jr. is on the line as tight end, number 83. Dazzo in the gun, he's got three wide, two to the bottom, one to the top. Pop pass over the middle, complete oh, to man. that very tight end. There they go. And he, he's happy about the play, but he's a yard short of the line again. And we have a third and one. They again sort of go heavy with two tight ends to one side, holding the single receiver to the top. And oh, it gets LSE to jump. Taekwon Hill jump, but it, I don't think it'll matter much. T-Roy picked up uh, the first down. All they'll, the they'll take the penalty because it'll give them an extra two yards of uh, field position, Colin, I believe. R62 says it was offsides. Taekwon Hale, the defensive end. Just mistiming the snap count as we have Meundi's laundry on the field. Don't forget, Meundi's are the world's most comfortable underwear. Use the promo code, promo link in the scroll below. A portion of your approach supports the SFL. Give the gift of comfort with 100% satisfaction guaranteed with free shipping and return. Signature soft, stretchy Meundi's as two or gains. Picks up five yards to the Pride 11 to set up a second and five. One as, of his better carries so far. As the Tallahassee uh, run defense gets a little stretchy there. As they pick up five, does Baltimore. About six carries so far for Gaines, although this time they'll empty out the backfield with five wide receivers for Baltimore. A press coverage look again from Tallahassee. This might be dangerous to throw over the middle. Complete to Graham Lloyd Jr. Had the first down, but got back, but they'll give him forward progress to the five. First and goal. Yes, they will, and that was a uh, a, a good a, a goodly, a well-anticipated play by the Baltimore offense there as Tallahassee puts almost everybody on the line with only two on the back end, and they backed everybody out into coverage, and they just threw underneath that coverage to pick up the first down, Colin. Warfield, the single receiver to the top. Gaines to deep back, two tight ends of balanced line. Here's the gift to T-Roy Gaines. He grinds forward to the three. His second and goal. Good defensive stop there after a couple of yard gain by Tallahassee. It looked for uh, for all the world like he was just going to locomotive him, locomotive himself into the end zone. Just made that one up. I think I'm going to retire it, immediately retire that one. They got split backs in the backfield now with Morgan and Gaines to backs. Warfield now to the bottom. Tallahassee stacks the box. They give it to T. Roy again, and this time he gets snowed under at the line of scrimmage by all those white jerseys. Yeah, again, a little confidence there by Tallahassee calling two good run stops in a row. And that puts uh, Baltimore a little behind the eight ball in that it's third and goal. 
Right. And they do not want to kick a field goal here. Right, although that wouldn't hurt in this juncture. Oh, they're going to take it, yeah, absolutely. Although they spread them out more this time with three wide. Dazzo, medium drop back, throws to game. Oh, he falling. <laughs> That's what they were setting it up <laughs> earlier, but he, T. Roy doesn't play it right, and he's stopped at about the two. He's going to do one of those circle back around things. I'm not sure. He's got to know where he is on the field. Just fall forward. You'll be in the end zone. Ugh. I'm a gumma, Colin. And this is nothing more than a length of an extra point for Tarkington. As he puts three through from 18 yards away, make it 17-10 to Al As Gets it, back, get, gets it back to a one-score game. And speaking of Omagoma, who does not like Pink Floyd? Everybody loves Pink Floyd. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> I they, stall you they out They take there. the three points, but they were hoping for seven. Yes, sir. So Tarkington ready to boot this away. There's some blockers. And Swain has a yeah. nice return up that. to his own 29. That worked Cut out. off his blockers, floated to some other way. Flowed the other way. And uh, the SFL is sponsored in part by Media Tech Institute. Turn your passion into a career. And also by MeUndies, the world's most comfortable underwear. And movement watches and gusts. As Christensen takes the quick drop, throws! Oh, it's knocked away by Joe Dazzo. I believe the pass was intended for Ty Norris, the tight end, who is yet to get a reception. Yep, there he is. He's a tall drink of water at 6'7", 285. He's built like a tackle out there. Indeed. And Francis will get it up the middle. Broke a tackle, but he got the headed by both for his troubles. As he has 147 on the ground. By the way, that one run, we were wondering the distance. Yes. They just showed it at the boys in the truck. It's 68 yards. Meanwhile, we have a third down and four. Hmm. Hmm. Who said 68? I wonder. Sal Asi, four, hmm. two on third down. Stop ignoring me. Who said 68? <laughs> you did, <laughs> as Francis will get it on the swing, and he oh. gets it blocked perfectly. Some and he falls loose to the 30. And this time... Thornberry runs him down at the Baltimore <laughs> 25. We'll forego any speculation and wait for the truck to tell us exactly how many yards that was. Oh, man. It was just pulling the way in. A beautiful block by, by Williams, the fullback. And this time, Thornberry wasn't outran out of his <laughs> angle that time. He stayed with Francis. He's now at the 187 on his 12 totes of the ball. Yep. <laughs> He's... He's got a better angle and a little uh, <laughs> a little salty chip on his shoulder there. First and 10 at the 25. Tallahassee's in business and one play. One receiver either side. Christensen, six-step drop. Throws over the middle of the vast. He's complete to Norris. They're going to say it was seven, setting up a second and short. As the big guy goes up and gets it like a rebound. Yes, he does. And there's got to be a purpose to uh, both teams are throwing. Uh, oh, Sorry. we reached a quick two-minute warning. You're watching the SFL presented by APM Music on Twitch. There's a look at Christensen's numbers. He has that one touchdown pass, but only 68 yards passing. A.J. Francis has done most of the damage. As Francis again gets his 13th carry, and this time he picks up a first down to the 12. Quip design delivers simple ways to keep your mouth healthy with timed vibrations, brush head refills for $5. Refilled every three months, covered for life with free shipping for life. Try for 30 days. And support the SFL with the promo code in the scroll below. A portion of your proceeds.
purchase supports the SFL broadcasters. Quip, a more wholesome queen. Back on the field, we have a first and 10 from the, from the Vulture 12 yard line as Christensen throws a beautiful pass to Gusset. Out of bounds at the five, that's about a pickup of eight yards, they'll call it. Setting up a second and two. You could say with the amount of sponsors we've been getting here at the SFL that business is booming. Business is booming. SFL is a great platform for reaching a lot of people and loyal people. Oh! As they gave it to Francis up the middle, but Tony Big Play Willis with a huge hit in the hole. It would be a he got jacked up candidate. <laughs> hit of the week right there for me <laughs> as Tallahassee now sprints to the line of scrimmage as the clock approaches under a minute to go. They have a bunch formation. Gossett to the bottom, out of the bunch, and he'll throw oh, in the, the back. doors in the end zone. Touchdown, Tallahassee. Wow. Christensen throwing dimes all over the place. And that was, that was just barely thrown in time. Let's see if we get a replay on his little tippy-toe routine here. As Norris just running straight up the field, he got lost in all the traffic. Indeed. Nicely done. Tallahassee. It's a thing of beauty here. Douglas will try the extra point with 59 seconds left. And barring something happening here on the next vulture possession, Baltimore will be down 24 to 10 going into the locker room. Not a, not a place you want to be exactly. Even with the front seven for Tallahassee at less than 100% with the cue out with that hyperextended elbow. Douglas set to kick it off from 30. It's away. Fielded by Apollo. And returned up to the 27. So... With 55 seconds left, and possibility of you getting involved in the second half, do you not risk it if you're Baltimore and just get off to T-Roy and lick your wounds to come out the second half? Well, that, that's a great question, too, because um, with a Tallahassee uh, second quarter ending score with just about a minute to go, it really depresses you, and uh, you need to make two scores quick. So let's we'll see what they do. And the first play is a handoff to Gaines, and Gaines finds a good hole, and then here comes the hurry up offense. Well, that's the usual philosophy. You can get some plus yardage, then you keep going. And they go out of this formation, throw to Gaines, and T Roy got out of bounds, just barely sending up a third and three. His clock stopped at 40 seconds left. Yeah, not much yardage, but the more important thing is he gets out of bounds, saving the timeout. Now, both teams have shown a, uh, an ability to. Uh, Make a chunk play and get in the end zone. And Baltimore would like to dial another one up right here. Baltimore, one of six on third down. They need a conversion in the absolute worst way right here. Offset eye. Dazzo will oh. get sacked and instead. You call it, I was just going to say, if you're Tallahassee, you're calling a timeout because you're getting the ball back and you want to have some time on the clock. Charles Dunbar. Who taking over AJ DQ spot comes through with a huge sack. Oh, bring out your dad. He's not dead. Not quite dead yet. Well, you soon will be. Well, the Baltimore faithful can't believe what they're seeing here at the end of the second as quarter. EJ DQ says in the chat, damn it, he stole my sack. <laughs> As the pun is away, Swain will field this and return this close to his own 40. Pretty sure he meant to say darn it. So 28 seconds left, and Tallahassee knows they've got to kick the ball away to start the third quarter. Let's see what happens, buddy. What do you do if you're Tallahassee? Interesting. Well, you're going to. Try and play the sideline here, right? See if you can. Two receivers top side short of the field. 
They give it to Francis, and why not? He's been a battering ram all night. He almost busted another one open as he picks up <laughs> close to 10. There's still two timeouts remaining. Christensen somehow wasting time. But <laughs> as the pass goes back, Christensen to Norris, but he didn't get out of bounds. And the clock will continue to run, and now they call timeout with three <laughs> seconds left. Oh. Oh, my goodness. That oh was goodness. just about the most helped or scalped or sequence I have seen in the oh SFL as Frank Gooden is giving CC a good talking to. Hey, you guys got some time on all right, though? I got a headache. Jeez, oh, Pete. <laughs> I can't believe all the time they burned on that. <laughs> I uh, appreciate the comment, T. Schaefer 88, is Christensen lines up in a Hail Mary formation. Will back to throw, and he gets sacked for the second time this game. That was number 99, Michael Wall. As we reach the end of the second quarter, Tallahassee leads 24 to 10. Highlights are now going to scroll across your screen. And we're back from the halftime festivities here in Baltimore. And Baltimore finds themselves down by two scores with Tallahassee leading 24 to 10. And as we talked about, Tallahassee kicks the ball to Baltimore. Baltimore, to start the game, kicked to Tallahassee and got a three and out, but it's been all Tallahassee since then. They're talking about the spread here early going. I believe Baltimore was installed as a three point favorite. As the Vultures come back out on the field, As Dazzo drops to throw. Oh, the pass was almost intercepted by the Pride's number 27, RJ Manley, a reserve corner. And that's why he's playing defense, people. You can't be an almost receiver, right? Second and 10 from the 30. Dazzo now at two tight ends to the bottom of the field in line. When receiver either side, T-Roy gains the single back. Dies out to throw one more time, throws over the middle, passes dropped. Not many, sorry. 
by Holder, I believe. Not many options for Dazzo there. Just looking for a quick in cut, it appeared. Yeah, and well played by the linebacker. She anticipates. And makes the hit. It was clean. Eddie Gage, a.k.a. two scoops for Houston, said the X receiver on that side of Alito was Warfield was one-on-one -on -one with the safety. Dazzle just didn't see him. Yep. We've seen that a couple of times in this game already, Colin. Dazzle just not having good field vision tonight. As he's the throw, has a congested pocket, oh. and it's intercepted. That is sure Chappell returns it to the Vulture 29-yard line. Well, I'll apologize to the Baltimore fans there as uh, commenting on the lack of vision tonight uh, by Dazzo. And there's a real example. Looking for looking for Cody Apollo, but he was double covered long and short. That's A.G. Francis, 16 carries, 203 yards, 12.6 <laughs> yards her tote. Oh, are they going to hand it to him on this play, Colin? What do we say? Uh, they appear to be in a gun formation. And as my colleague Matt Wilson likes to say, those plays don't work very well. As a throw it to Francis. Francis nearly went backward, <laughs> but he still managed to pick up a one yard gain on the reception. I did not see that coming. Welcome into the chat, Crazy Eights 2000. How are you doing, sir? As back on the field, Christensen, seven step drop, firing long on the post. And oh. it is caught by Grayson Willis. He skies the ball and he comes down with it. Oh my. That might be the play of the game right there as he skies in the air. He can, he can control that with his left hand coming down too. That's a, that's a very impressive athletic play. And the your Tallahassee pride. Take advantage of that turnover and punch it. Put it in the end zone just like that. And uh, people in the chat are saying Moss, you know, and I agree. <laughs> that was that was definitely a sky, you know. And uh, the extra point was nearly blocked, but it's still good. Now we have a 31 to 10 game, and Baltimore is in an even deeper hole now. All right, well. It's a three-score game, and students of my commentary, of which there are exactly zero, will recall that as the the hypothesis is, as the, as the game wears on, it's really about possessions and scoring scores, and that's what you have to manage to. Right, as up the middle, Apollo goes to his own 31. Now the onus is really on Dazzo, and... The game plan is unfolding just about the way you wanted it for Frank Gooden. You've pretty much put a capper on T. Roy Gaines as far as his yardage is concerned. And put in the hands of Mike Dazzo and the results for Baltimore haven't been pretty. With that last interception standing out as they throw this out to Gaines on the swing and T. Roy gets six yards and let's not forget about the willis versus willis battle there colin is uh there was some mention of that in the chat you know those brothers aren't related but jared jared and grayson willis are brothers jared plant of course the emergency back for chicago <laughs> as dazzo is out of the gun Fires down the middle of the field. Pass is complete. That's the longest pass in the day for uh, Bishop Warfield, the rookie undrafted free agent. <laughs> I don't know. Just if you drafted based on names, Bishop Warfield should have been drafted. Tell me I'm wrong. As there's a look at Warfield. Uh, 
Welcome in, AJ pick six to the Chad as the throw goes out to Daly Holder and he picks up close to 10 yards, but they're gonna call it nine and a half. Holder now has three catches for 45 yards. Second in inches. And T. Roy will pick up this first down. He squeezes through the hole. Taekwon Hale on the tackle. Well, a journey of a thousand miles starts with one step, and uh, a first down is a good place for Baltimore to, to start here. That's their eighth first down. Picked up as they go four wide and the gun trips to the bottom. One loan to the top. Over the middle of Cody Apollo sliding catch and they give him the first down. <laughs> Great do. play. They do. That's that's highly questionable, but Dan Lebetard says it's a first down. And Poppy says, I've seen better sliding catches. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's a great show. On Don't the, give away yeah. my jokes. Hey, what are you doing over there? I'll sue. It's a great show on ESPN, <laughs> by the way. Back on the field, we have a first and 10 at the Pride 22-yard line. Dazzo up, plays this one go. over the middle, and Warfield with, goes up for that one as Dazzo's up to 167, but he does have the interception to his name. Working the center of the field there, Colin, with the pass play. One... Uh, Medium and then one long. It puts him on the doorstep. They have about 164 for Dazzo as he goes. Uh, heavy goal line. Goal line. They're going to throw out of it. They throw to T Roy Gaines and he walks into the end zone as he beats the linebacker with ease. Touchdown, Baltimore. Now there's a thing of beauty on offense that series right there. Congratulations. Baltimore, well done. With that last completion, Dazzo is 19 of 26 for a buck 68 and a touchdown. As he throws that one out to Gaines, he's it's been effective in the passing game when they gone to him aside from that goal line miscue. Yep. As Baltimore now cuts it to a 31-17 game. But can their defense hold up the end of the bargain? Get a stop. Yep. Yep. And that is quite a task here based on how Tallahassee has put up 31 points in two and a half quarters, Colin. As welcome in Xander what Golden. What happened there? Is that Return had to be <laughs> skied in the air. He jumped straight up and he gets tackled at his own nine. Oh, wow. Man. He had to, that ball like hop skipped in a jump like extreme in the air. Oh, I want to see that one again and uh, we're not going to get a look at it. Oh, those boys in the truck. I uh, needed to see that. <laughs> well, the Baltimore fans uh, are beginning to rub their hands together in anticipation. That's uh, kind of a break that they need in a game like this. First and 10 from the 9, but they give it to Francis. He picks up 2 to the 11 as he is sitting comfortably at 206 yards. Yeah, a little, little slow to get up there, too. I don't know if he had a little stinger or not. But it would seem in the first time in forever, Francis doesn't just run for a first down. As they go three wide to the bottom, Swain, the returner, is now in the slot as, as Christensen will go deep down the middle of the field. Oh. That's complete to the 38-yard line of the pride. There's Kenny Gossett again. Well, that gets... Uh, Tallahassee out of the hole, Colin, and makes up for the uh, the muff on the kickoff. And Baltimore's just going to have to sort of cinch up their belts and 
That's a fifth Place catch for Gossett for 79 yards as Christensen operates under center. Gives to Francis, but he only picks up one. He might be getting tired. Tired or and or Baltimore may have made some adjustments at adjustments, ajustments at halftime to try and deal with uh, the free running Francis. <laughs> Lighten up Francis. Whoever he is. Says that he gave in the chat. He's been laying what out there. That being pullback Julius Williams. The reserve. He's been putting in the work for Francis today. Meanwhile, back on the field. Francis gets up as but he gets decked for a two-yard loss by Papa Joe. <laughs> Papa Joe, yep. And the uh, the man, the myth, the legend that is Francis uh, hasn't had a lot of action here in this drive, uh, successful action, excuse me. Third and 10, they go four wide trips to the bottom of your picture. Christensen, medium drop back, fires this one for Swain, oh. who dropped the ball. <laughs> oh, no. So that turns out to be a bad drive for this guy. First, uh, first he screws up the kick return, and then he drops a wide open pass on his side. Oh my. Well, Baltimore gets the stop they were looking for. They won't get the field position they were hoping for, but they will get the ball back. Clock stopped at 4.55 to go. As I bet you he's going to be walking home or hitchhiking a ride back to Florida after this one. Ah. It's slain as Apollo returns this up to the 28. Well, let's see. You know, there's still a lot of game left. He's going to touch the ball several more times here. Uh, before it's all said and done, and they're going to need him to play better. Mike Dazzo trying to rally the troops. 19 to 27, a buck 68, a touchdown, and an interception. T Roy Gaines is a split back, holder in the slot. They go down the middle of the field, it is complete to Warfield, the top receiver who has five catches for 72 yards. T-Roy Gaines has six catches for 29 yards. As we get another look at that beautiful pass right over the zone defense. Wow, and uh, my ace commentary on that is, hmm, very interesting. You know, if uh, Baltimore manages to score a touchdown, they should be right back in the thick of things. <laughs> Yes, being if they do score seven. As the oh! throw! Oh! It was <laughs> almost intercepted because it was laying on the legs of Jeff Eaton as he was looking for Daly Holder on a slant, but nothing doing, and they live for another down. Yeah, it was <laughs> easy pickings there for a second. See what I did there? Pickens. Warfield to the bottom of your screen is the one wide out. Dazzo drops this off to Gaines and T-Roy cuts inside of a block and sets up a third and manageable. Coming up for Baltimore at their own 48. You know, they haven't been a very good team on third down. They're only one of eight on third down and that narrative needs to change now starting with this particular play. True that. Hard to sustain a drive if you can't convert on third. And whatever. As Dazzo throws the out cut to go. Holder and Holder turns up field for plenty of yardage. As Mike has crossed the 200 yard mark as he's now thrown for 209. That was nice, and uh, I've been watching uh, somebody for Tallahassee on the defensive side, 59. Um, an outside linebacker, Danny Atkins. I'm noticing he's been out of position frequently, and uh, Baltimore may have seen that as well. That was his very responsibility. As Gaines takes it on the power play, and he picks up nine, his best carry of the day thus far. You know, he hasn't been getting the ball much. 
since the team was down 31 to 10, but he took advantage of his opportunity there. Yes, he did. T. Rice also made an impact in the pass game as well. Keep an eye on this play as it's second down under center is Dazzo. Holders in the slot. Crowded line for the linebackers there, but they drop. That's a throw out to Warfield. Oh! He caught the ball and turned the field for the first down. <laughs> he he was at the line of scrimmage, <laughs> but he managed to circle back and he pick did. up the first down. He had the first down, then he gave, almost had the first down, then he definitely gave it up, and then he turned and he gets the corner and moves the sticks, buddy. That is the 23rd pass completion for Dazzo. He's only missed eight throws so far. Tight formation. Well, he made the one to Tallahassee. But let's not bring that up. Here's to get the T. Roy, and Troy can't find the opening. So number 59, Atkins, not out of position that time. Nope, he's there for the to make the play. 216 yards for Mike Dazzo, 93.2 quarterback rating, QBR. Has to go three wide, two to the top, one to the bottom is Holder. Graham Lloyd Jr. is on the field as well. Here's the throw over the middle, Ooh. and Cody oh. Apollo dropped it. Yeah, probably shouldn't have thrown that one. A very difficult pass. We have a third and eight. Baltimore converted the last third down they faced, although this one is slightly on the edge of being manageable at third and eight. <laughs> slightly on the edge of manageable. Either way, it's a must. Bunch formation to the bottom. Press coverage look from Tallahassee. They got the man tied up to the top, oh, and oh! Oh! oh, oh. oh. It looked like Morgan. What the heck was going on there? One of the, looked like number 86. Edward Morgan just flat out dropped the ball. Sharkington will be on the field. Uh, Tarkington will be. Sh Sharkington. <laughs> I, com I combined his name. <laughs> right. I apologize. <laughs> As he'll be on the field to try this field goal attempt. This will be uh, the 24, so that will be a 34-yarder. For the left-footed kicker. And it's good from 34 yards away. They'll take the three points, but they were hoping for seven. That's right. Well, any point is a good point in uh, a comeback, but it does put a little extra pressure on the defense. Dazzo is now 33 of 23 for 209. After that drive, as the score is now 31 to 20, Tallahassee with a minute 26 in the third. Baltimore still needs two scores in this game, and they cannot afford to have Tallahassee put any more points on the board. Swain this time fields it cleanly and properly as he brings it out to the 23. <laughs> I guess he wasn't cut <laughs> between possessions there, as some people in the chat were suggesting might be appropriate. You know, they got the yellow paw prints on the side of these white uniforms, that, the golden paw. That's always the signature of pride uniform threads throughout the years. Is Christian Christensen is now sitting at 145. Francis is sitting at 207. He gets another tote. Here is 19th tote, and he adds one yard to that tote. Well, so far in the second half, Colin, hats off to the Baltimore defensive line and linebackers as, as they've been able to bottle up Francis. Uh, pretty good. He's not having the half that he had in the first half. We have a second and nine. Ball in the pride 24-yard line. Close in bunch here, Colin. What do they usually do with this? Uh, defenders have to watch their men carefully as the throw goes to the opposite way to Gossett, who spins past the first down marker, but gets whacked by the old man, Joe Dazzo, in the process. Yeah, good chess move there as uh, nobody, including uh, the two of us in the booth, saw the uh, throwing away from the heavy bunch side of the formation. Now they go just one receiver in the side. Francis, the deep back. Christensen will swing it out again to Gossett. Similar play, broke its ankle and picked up a first down to the 49. Oh, Gossett's the new Francis here all of a sudden. 
And Tallahassee using uh, sideline to sideline there with their play selection. Broke a tackle of Cosmic Fly to Gossett as Christensen is now. Sixteen of twenty-one for one seventy, and he's tossed three touchdowns with no picks. That's the end of the third quarter. Tallahassee leads thirty-one to twenty. You're watching the Simulation Football League on Twitch. It's rivalry night, and it also happens to be S A T U R D A Y night. I'm Colin Northrup. He's Rick Northrup. Good evening, and we have Nathan Blake and. The Truck doing stats for us. Nathan. As the give goes off to Francis, and Francis seems a bit rejuvenated as that's his <laughs> longest run in a while. He picks up seven on first down. Wow. And he, that, that swim move that we saw in the first half, Colin, shows itself, uh, rears its head uh, on that play. As uh, Francis is now up to 215. Is that on right? 20 totes. Wow. This is carry number 21, and he loses go back a couple to, of go yards. Go to 212. <laughs> a couple of yards, number 55. Courtney Kate, one of the office linebackers. He was with uh, Terrible Terry Tate back in the day. Yeah, yeah. You can still find those commercials on YouTube for those of you wondering. Well, they get, uh, they get them into a third and six, Colin, here. Tallahassee is three of nine for conversions. Christensen throws, pumps, goes long. Oh, oh intercepted by Tony Willis. <laughs> he raises Sherce about one better, and he gets the return all the way up to the Vulture 40-yard line. Almost makes the first down. <laughs> that was a big plan he needed, looking for Grayson Willis, but he was covered short and deep. Knocked up in the air by Giovanni Bolt. Or was he looking for Gossett? He might have been looking for Gossett. Tackle made. Well, there you go, Baltimore. You are back in business. Not only do you get a stop, but you get the ball all the way out at your own 40, preventing Tallahassee from scoring. Still plenty of time for you to run your offense, at least in the conventional sense. And the first play is the T-Roy Gaines carry. And Gaines will pick up seven yards. They're going to mark eight. They're going to give him eight yards on that. Yeah, it'll, it'll be second to two Charles Dunbar. And the one big sack. Late in the first half, he's filled admirably in for Mr. DQ. Two tight ends and balance line. Morgan is close. Gains deep. Here's to get the more to gain second man through the hole, and he picks up the first down to 44. You see the strategy by Baltimore. They want to want to milk some time to get their beleaguered defensive guys a rest. Right. Well, and plus they need a score too, right? But they. Uh you mean you mean uh, actual real time, not necessarily clock time, because obviously the clock is becoming their enemy here as they need um, uh, two scores. So assuming they could score on this possession, they still need the ball back. Does he get a gain? Breaks a tackle, and there goes Tira Gaines to the 30. Oh, Tira <laughs> Gaines to the 20, knocked out of bounds at the 19 <laughs> by Alex Bond. Best run of the day for Mr. Gaines. That's a good looking run and a nice finish as he totally clocks the DB on the sideline. Laying him out right. Looks like that's Michael Sprouse there, number 25, who was the man who was laid out there. initially. And carried Alex Bond, too, as he saved what probably, probably could have been a touchdown. He was the last man to beat there. We have Holder in the slot. To the top of the screen, Warfield to the bottom, I believe. Or is that a power? It doesn't matter as it's a handoff to T. Roy, and he picks up two yards to 16. Big fan of that inside give. And we've seen a number of teams adopt that here so far this season, Colin. And uh, I think it's a nice, it produce, can produce nice gains. And it also 
keeps the uh, some hesitation with the lineman. Dazzo looking to pass out of this empty set most likely, and he will as 33rd pass attempt goes down to Lloyd Graham Jr. Who makes it a third and inches play denied. That's his third catch. He has not missed a target. Or fourth catch, rather. Wow. For 36 yards. Not a bad debut for the tight end. You know a little something about that position. You played it yourself. We did. It's a uh, pretty technical position. You got to be able to block, catch, pull. As they're going to throw on inches. Oh, and it's intercepted oh, by Alex kidding? Bond. It's intercepted by Bond, Alex Bond. There he goes down the field. <laughs> and the, are they going to catch him? No, they cannot. Oh, they Touchdown. Oh. It's a big six for Talazi. Oh. Unbelievable. <laughs> and they and he revives the ball. <laughs> he given the ball CPR. Oh, man. <laughs> Alex Bond with the most spectacular interception return I have seen to date. Wow, Bond, Bond, Alex Bond. I'd like to. Uh, they didn't re rewind that back far enough. I wanted to see him actually make that pick, but he and he goes straight down the field. Nobody can catch him. As they, as Morehouse, the backup was in there to Gaines. I don't know if that had any influence on why they threw or not, but anyway, that is a huge, that is a will breaker, as Keith Jackson would say. <laughs> Tried to throw the outcut. Snap was a little bit combobulated, but he got he got it down. Did uh, Curtis Young, and with 7:11 to go in the fourth quarter, Tallahassee leads 38 to 20. And it's back to a three-score game. For those of you keeping track at home. And we're at 7 minutes 11 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. You're watching Simulation Football on Twitch. Presented by APM Music. And Baltimore. Will get the ball. Apollo feels this from his 10. Cuts to the other side. Oh, Ooh. he had an opening for just a minute. Boy. Ooh, doggies. For just one little minute, if he'd gotten by number 36, he might have taken it farther. Well, pick your metaphor here, Colin. It's a uh, long putt, steep hill to climb. Quite the needle to thread. But Baltimore needs points, and they need them in a hurry. They got to make the river run uphill <laughs> as T. Roy Gaines gets another carry. And... And oh, I admire them for sticking by their main tailback as Carroll was in on that tackle. <laughs> Comma, but. But. They need, they, to... they need points, so they need to be <laughs> chucking the ball. They right? need to chuck the rock darn straight. Darn straight. Oh, an eye formation, which I normally love, unless they're going to throw out of it to the one wide out. No, they throw to the back this time. And T. Rice. Stiff arms a man out of bounds for his troubles. <laughs> Set up a third and seven. People forget how sneaky good Alex Bond is. I agree. He's a defender that's always good around the ball. It's a good run stuffer. A good, um, good defender. defender. Yeah, there you go. And has great speed, as we saw. Third and seven. Dazzle to throw. Oh. Down he goes. Sack made by number 74. Hunter Norwood, the defensive end. <laughs> Haven't called a lot of those ends tonight, but there's Norwood. Yeah, they've been kind of quiet so far, but Norwood is a load, and he gets free and comes up with a sack just at one of the right times. If you're a Tallahassee supporter. Here is the punt. It's going to be brought back to the 33. There's 543 left. Hope's got to be looking grim for the home. Team. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. So let's see what Tallahassee can do. Obviously, uh, you know, they... Uh, 
had a very strong game and a giant win over Las Vegas last week, and they continue to impress here on the road in Baltimore. Back on the field, AJ Francis with the carry. He'll get racked up at the line of scrimmage. As AJ Francis is sitting at 211 yards, averaging 9.2 yards a carry. Not bad. Mr. Wall, stop that one. <laughs> yeah, look at this, they go heavy on the left side, Colin. Overload one side, and this time, Let's try and run straight Francis ahead. up the middle. Yeah, but there's nothing there. I was hoping for something exciting. Like a couple of pulling, a tackle and a tight end or something. Instead, it's a pedestrian give, dive up the middle. Third and seven there. Spreading out four wide now as Lloyd Graham submits 100 bits. Thank you for that. They would like to get a first down here. And Otherwise, Christensen it's pumps, will go down the middle, and the throw is picked off by Tony oh, oh. Wills, but he fumbled. And it's recovered <laughs> by Baltimore. Michael Wall fell on it. Well, that's the SFL for you right there. Just when the vultures are giving up hope. Willis oh, picked it off. It's a gift. And Swain made the hit that came, the ball came out, but. Wow, it's like the jelly of the month club, Colin. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Interceptions. 4.37 to go. Baltimore has a little bit more time to crack into it. They're on the plus side of the field. They've got two wide. As the throw goes over the middle of Warfield, <laughs> oh, and Warfield no. picks up six yards. Okay, okay, okay. They're in the hurry up, second and four. That's a oh! Oh, throw <laughs> interception, and it's sure Chappelle. And, oh, it, it's been just that kind of night for Baltimore. <laughs> As that is Chappelle's second interception of the game. He read that one like he was reading a book at third base. Well, the wisdom of Cousin Eddie comes back again. It's the gift that keeps on giving. That is Dazzo's third interception of the game. One wide out to the top of your picture is Gus. Williams close, Francis deep in the I formation. Two tight ends in the balance line. Here's the give off to Francis, and Francis will get racked up at the line for no gain. And there is the great Amon takes. People have been wondering, where is the great Amon at? <laughs> there he is. There he is, folks, number 56. Well, with that interception, it allows Tallahassee Colin to get back to the ritual killing of the clock here as we tick under four minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Tallahassee leads Baltimore 38-20. As they line up with an extra tight end in the backfield next to Williams, the fullback. <laughs> they do the pulling guard, and this time they got a bit of an opening as he carries Giovanni Bolt and Mr. Albert, number 70, forward for eight yards. Set up a third and two. The Simulation Football League is sponsored by Quip. Family of Products, Richard's Printworks, the official merchandising partner of the SFL, and ScoreStream, the official live scoring app of the simulation football league. And by Spy Goat, the goat in audio equipment. <laughs> As we get a third and two, standard eye formation. Willis, sec uh, Francis, second man through the whole rather picks up the first down. Well, they don't need a lot of yards from Francis there. They move the sticks. We tick under three minutes to go. We're coming up on the two-minute warning here in the fourth quarter. And I'm sure at some point Baltimore will burn their timeouts, even though it uh, will be nigh pointless. As a... Uh... Dallas, he continues running at the clock. 
snapped it with two. But good for Francis Ford, progress of one yard. As Dazzo47, a.k.a. Papa Joe, says, couldn't run the football, couldn't stop the run, didn't pressure the passer. No ice cream tonight. No ice cream. Well, you know what John McKay said. Oh, As we reach the quick two-minute warning, you're watching the SFL presented by AP Music on Twitch. I'll finish your point. Oh, yes. After uh, an especially embarrassing Tampa Bay Buccaneer loss, John McKay said, well, we couldn't run the ball at all, and we made up for it, but we made up for it by not tackling. First play coming out of the two-minute warning is uh, Francis handoff, Baltimore calls timeout. Quip design delivers simple ways to keep your mouth healthy with timed vibrations. Brush head refills for $5. Refilled every three months. Covered for life with free shipping for life. Try for 30 days and support the SFL. With the promo code in the scroll below, a portion of your proceeds supports the SFL. Quip a more wholesome clean. Back on the field, we have a third and 10. One minute, 58 seconds left, and it'll be a throw for the backup, Richard Young. He avoids oh. the sack, and Young throws. Oh, <laughs> and it is dropped <laughs> by number 15, Billy Joe Black. So the backups got in for a snap, but oh. it's an incomplete. And he's going to have words with Billy Joe. Like, hey, dude, I, we had a, I had a completion. You had a catch. Focus. So the backup is showing off the moves. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> nice duck and cover there. Sprints out of trouble. As the pun is away, Baltimore will still have a timeout or two left as the gunner ran too far and got in in the end zone. Here 2K12 says, at least mine passes to a player when they make moves in the pocket like that. <laughs> They're looking to her again. 17 carries for 77 yards. As Dazzo pop flies this one over to oh. the one and it gets by Graham Lloyd Jr. Nice going, young man. And Baltimore uses a timeout, leaving them with leaving them with two. Colin, leaving them with one rather. Oh, oh look at that one. catch! Sorry, that's yeah. got to be that's got to be top ten play of the week. <laughs> he skied that in like Odell Beckham. Just whoop. <laughs> Split back. Hey, Graham, did you call him Graham Lloyd Jr.? Isn't it Lloyd Graham? Lloyd Graham. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I inverse the things. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, back on the field, the throw from Dazzo goes out to Warfield. It's his dyslexic brother. <laughs> As we have mainly backups on the field out for Tallahassee now, it appears. All reserve players get a little opportunity for game action. You know, those guys, they work for peanuts. Some of them do, you know. Yep. So it's a rather yep. thankless job being a backup in the SFL. Well, playing because they love the game, right? Just a chance to participate. As the throw goes out to Holder, and that's enough for a first down. First and 10 at the Pride 49. Bishop Warfield's quietly having a productive day. Eight catches on eight targets for 91 yards. He's nine yards away from 100. Wow. And the throw goes out to Gaines, and T-Roy got out of bounds, they'll say. Pickup of seven, second, and three. Appreciate the compliments from all of you. As 
Ochtanta11 says, is it too early to submit plays for top 10? No, it's not, as Dazzo throws at the Daily Holder, and Holder doesn't get out of bounds. Here's the pass down the middle field. It's caught by oh, Graham Lloyd. there we go. By Lloyd Graham Jr. <laughs> Almost did it again. The Lloyd Bridges. And clock winds under a minute. And the throw. Warfield dropped it. That's his first drop of the day, but it stops the clock with 51 seconds left. Second and 10 from 12. They go three wide. And Dazzo out route, Warfield oh, makes up the catch. He broke a tackle and he's in the end zone. Touchdown. Boy, Warfield is so smooth and uh, a nifty little move, a little duck under, and yes, yeah, celebrate, young man. That was, a, that was a nifty play. So let's take a look at it one more time. Just a simple out cut. Had to kind of go back for the ball, broke a tackle yep. of Lenny Owens, and that was all she wrote. Touchdown, Baltimore. Well, they're going to take their two points to try and bring them within. No, they're going to kick the extra point. I see it. Take their, take their extra point. I'm sorry. I misspoke. <laughs> Cuts it's the, good to go with 46 seconds left. It's now 38-27. Cuts the lead to 11. That pick six is looming large, Colin, as that was potentially a 14-point swing for Baltimore. Yeah, I, you think about that. Take that away, and that's totally a different game. Here's your onsider. And it's recovered by the pride. And With Baltimore that. only has one timeout left, Colin. That's probably going to do it. I just want to mention... For all the uh, gearheads out there, if you're into f um, uh, f fun and funky uh, statistics and analysis, check out 538, 538.com and their analysis of the Patriots' eight Super Bowls as we watch this play. Christensen takes a knee. On the Patriots' uh, eight Super Bowls, they've won five, and they look at the key plays in each game, and it's amazing that the Patriots are only a few plays away from being 8-0 in the Super Bowl. Conversely, they're only a few key plays away from being 0-8. It's fascinating how close these games are. And I think that pick six, Colin, that uh, Bond, Alex Bond, took back um, was probably that, ga that play in this game. Christensen takes another knee and... It's about a two-second difference between the game clock and the play clock, but they might they'll not snap it one more time. Otherwise, they'll get a delay, and that will stop the clock. But either way, without all the unnecessary hoo-ha, snap it one more time, and that'll be the game. Good game, Tallahassee. Very impressive. And Baltimore, too. They played well. As... That's going to be the last snap of the game. Victory is a thousand fathers. Well, defeat is an orphan. Tallahassee wins 38-27 over the Crabs. Post game. The Crabs. Or over the Walters. <laughs> I, I did it. I did it. You, See, you Cam's almost made it, the, you made it the whole game. <laughs> Cam's not the only one who's immune to that. <laughs> who who, who suffers that. from that affliction. <laughs> As... The Pride have had a remarkable turnaround after starting 0-2. They've won two straight games.
Yeah, and you know, you're right, Colin. Baltimore is a good team, and they had a decent game. They just let it get away from themselves a little bit there in the first half, and we're playing catch up. And the pick six, as I belabored already, well, don't we know? Um, here in the fourth was it. Bishop Warfield finishes with 103 following that touchdown. It's Christian Christensen's efficiency, in spite of those couple of picks, are ultimately some of the difference. Of course, A.J. Francis going for 200-plus also played a big <laughs> part in it. Optim I don't even know how to pronounce the Optimus line YouTube thing. That's the, that's the comment of the night right there. As the uh, return from Tony Willis, he finishes with two interceptions. But this is the one Rick was talking about earlier. Is he outruns the backup to uh, Gaines, uh, Damon Morehouse, all the way to the house. Ooh, nice. I see what you did there. As you know, I think both teams can learn a little something from this defeat. Uh, really, I think Baltimore needs to get. Uh, I got T. R. Gaines involved in the passing game, but ultimately, it was their inability to run the ball early and get defensive stops that ultimately did them in. Yeah, and how big is uh, the emergence of Warfield there? That's something that people are going to have to game plan for uh, in the future when they're playing Baltimore. Uh, they've got a good player there, and he's going to have nothing but confident, more growing confidence. And there's your player of the game. A.J. Francis, 28 carries for 226 yards, throwing seven receiving yards. Wow, what a great performance from Mr. Francis. That's the end of the game. For all of us at the Simulation Football League, I'm Colin Northup, he's Rick Northup, he gels with uh, Nathan Blake with us on stats. Good night, everybody.